Well, as is usually the case at the World Championships, a large contingent of Canadian fans on hand, at least half of the fans in the building here at the Oakland Coliseum, sporting red and white and ready to cheer on the national champions, Jacqueline Peter and Mark Janicek. I spoke to Jackie just before she put her skates on. She was looking very, very relaxed. She said she's having no problem with her injury that she sustained at the Olympics. that Jacqueline and Mark as well as the rest of the competitors here in the dance event are glad to have the opportunity to do the Viennese waltz at these world championships. They've been practicing this dance as well as three others, the Blues and Paso, which they performed at the Olympic Games, and they will also do the Tango Romantica. So through the course of the season, they've had an opportunity to do all four dances. Peter and Mark Janiszczak, and they look clearly relaxed on the ice. Well, they look relaxed and confident, and I think they were that way going into Albertville, but because of the injury, that certainly took the edge off. And this set of marks is going to be very important for them as it will set the standard very early as to whether or not they will be able to move into the top 10. 11th and 12th in the compulsory dances in Albertville, a top 10 finish in Munich and they want to approve on that here Roy Bradshaw their coach says well done and I think you can see a certain amount of anticipation on his face because he knows how important this set of marks will be to this couple interesting you don't usually have to wait very long for marks in compulsory dances that's about as long a wait as we've seen and the crowd doesn't like what they get after that wait Force five from the Bulgarian judge up to four eight from the Swiss judge. And right now they're seated in eighth spot. Hey, hey, hey. 